This morning, oh, no, not good morning. Good afternoon. We bless the name of our God for bringing us today. May God's name be praised in Jesus' name. So we used to do it. But let me say, in the past few days, we have been doing it early hours on the morning. But today, thank God I was able to sleep in the night. So I woke up because of a lot of stress and I woke up feeling better. So I want to believe that it's all God's plan that we should do it at this time. So thank God. Thank God that we are here again. It's not that we are not, we are discouraged or we are saying I'm not doing today. Thank God. So I know that Oshiba <laughs> is still in, in line because that is how God wants it today. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for the grace to be here this morning. We return all glory to your name. We appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we want to discuss your word again. This is another type of message that it takes the power of God to to make it make sense in our hearts. We can speak it, we can say it, and it doesn't have any effect. But with the power of God, the effect will be there. Please have your way. Take control, take all the glory. Oh Lord, fill me the Spirit of God. And also people that will listen to it, let the Spirit of God be there to explain it to them. Better than I can say in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Yeah, so we thank God. So that prayer is needed because I, I saw it that hmm, this thing, <laughs> it takes the power of God to make somebody understand it. So um, let me let me say something. Abby, should I say the topic first? Okay, let me first of all say this before I say the topic. Even though anyone that is looking at it will have seen the topic, they have written it. But before I say the topic, let me first of all say this thing. So, um, I will explain from my life from childhood. <laughs> from childhood, I grew up in a church that we are talks about salvation. There is no need to even pray fire for fire prayers. You know, we believe that there are some things in your life that you are encountering because you are in sin. So, and we believe at the time of God that once you are living a holy life, the Lord will make way. So that was how I was living my life for years. And truly, being in God's side is helping you. It will help you, you understand? So um, it goes with time after I graduated from the university. I have a lot of ambitions. There are a lot of things I want to achieve, but I was not. It wasn't possible. It wasn't possible. I I kept on. Um, trying many things and it wasn't working until one time that I had a heartbreak. Let me call it a heartbreak, like relationship heartbreak, kind of. I was expecting that that was the guy I would marry, and then he said, "Forget about me." So it was really heartbroken. So that thing led me into fire for fire prayers, and instead of God answering that prayer about bringing him back. The Lord answered the prayers by lifting me up, by sending help to lift me up. So I was attending different churches, different from my childhood church. You know, in my childhood church, they will really teach you about salvation and that's all. Like, we are just a group waiting for the coming of Jesus. Most times you are not even worried about the things of the world, but, you know, for some some of us, God still wants us to achieve great things in life, more than just waiting on the coming of Jesus. 
Not that you are going to do those things outside of God. Of course, my prayers that I was praying that God used and started lifting me up. I didn't go to the devil to for those things. I went to God. So I started praying. And from there, when God took control and I was able to travel out of the country because it was a divine connection from heaven. If it was my power, it would not have been possible. So the prayers were doing extraordinary things. Like those fire for fire prayers were doing great things. Things that if somebody sits down and calculates, you can't, your calculation cannot reach that place. You understand? Those are the things that God was doing through those prayers. So when I got, I traveled down and I got here by the grace of God, I was expecting that everything was going to be so smooth and stuff like that. And I noticed that no, it's not working. So I remembered my prayers again. But this time, you know, then I was going to those churches. Now I have to be looking for pastors that are also praying (laughs) those type of powerful prayers. So I started joining them. Some of them I will even collect their number from the online and I will be texting them, please pray for me. But I noticed their prayers were not working for me. (laughs) I'm sorry to say about that. I don't know. Their prayers were not working for me. Or let me say, I don't even know what to call it. Their prayers were not working for me until not too long this time that I actually saw it in the dream that truly, truly, their prayers are not working. In that dream, because my things were stolen in real life, so in that dream, I asked them, please pray for me so that this person can return my things. And that person that stole my things, we saw the person, we knew about that. They couldn't, the prayer didn't work. Uh -uh. I even called police, please tell her to remind the police said there's nothing they can do. So that was where I now started my own prayers. If I tell you now, I don't ask for prayers from this man of God anymore. Because all through these four years, I've been asking prayers on them. Nothing, nothing has happened in my life. It's only when I pray for myself that things happen. You understand? God... And there was one day like that, this recently, one of these prayers I was praying continuously, that I finished praying like that, and I went to pray one of those men of God's prayer again. And God told me that you are greater than this person. You have stronger power than this man. And from there, God started making me to watch some videos online, telling, talking about this man of God that's, that are doing this type of things online. I'm not saying all of them are wrong, but most of them that we are seeing that they are, it's like they are scamming people. I will explain what I mean by scamming people. That they have lost the power of God. And God made me to know that I have a greater power than him. Even though I like his prayers, but you know, if if you are, you are, you are drinking from a vessel, and that vessel is dirty. There is no way the dirt in that vessel will enter inside you. You know, it was the grace of God that even saved me that I'm not, I don't feel attacked. You know, many times I I have seen this man in my dream, and he's just, he can't do anything to me. You know, he's trying to, to, push me, to make me do things, to put me under his bondage. But he can't. And he's getting scared of me, you understand? Sometimes if I send a message, he can't even reply me. He doesn't reply me. Maybe he feels I'm like greater than him. The last time he replied, he was like, do you have a husband? Where's your husband? You know, these are the tricks they use in capturing people. By the time they see that you are desperate, I'm talking about people on in abroad. Though. 
By the time you feel desperate that I need husband now, they will put you in their bondage. You understand? And they will start using that against you. Bring money today. Bring money. They will even tell you that they are the ones that pray for you. So you have to pay them for praying for you. And, uh, you know, when, if you notice, when I started my prayers and stuff online, because I, I, I saw how many of them were getting bigger and bigger by praying for people and people paying them, so I too, I thought, okay, maybe it's God too, that is blessing them truly, truly. So I was putting my own online prayers and stuff like that. And God had to explain to me that, you see, it's not that God doesn't answer prayers. Or it's not as if God cannot make people to bless you when you pray for them. But there are some things that are sinful. There are some things that are wrong. There are some things that are not right. Anyone that is doing those things that are not right, they are not working for God anymore. They are working for themselves. They are working for their stomachs. And God was trying to tell me, do you know the reason why those are prayers were not working for you? It is because, I'm not saying it's all of them. Please don't misquote me. It is because it is a demonic power that is going out to do those miracles that those people are getting. So if anyone is listening to this thing, I want to tell you that this message you are hearing is from, is from God. You see, that's why I said one time that anytime I, I don't know what to say, I go online. So once I see anything online, the Lord will give me the rightful thing that is supposed to be. So God was telling me, do you know why their prayers were not working for you? Because it's not, it's not my spirit. It's not the spirit of God. But I have put in you the spirit of God. So I'm using you to correct a lot of wrong things. Look at like the day I said I put my PayPal online. I mean, I was telling people on TikTok, please give me money. You know, I was thinking, okay, these pastors too, that's how they do. And that's how people give them money. Okay, maybe people will give me money. And God had to show to me that if people are are struggling and then they are they are giving you money because you are lying to them that the ten the ten naira in their hand will become one million naira tomorrow. You are not serving God. The Lord did not send you that kind of message. You understand? You know God was just trying to tell me that I'm using you to correct a lot of things. That is why I gave you a stronger power. That is why you felt it that your power is greater than the power that those men are using. And it's the truth. They are using a smaller power. I remember one of them that came to my dream one time. He is into fornication. You know, he was messing around with his secretary and all that inside the dream. And in real life, you'll be looking at him. This is a man of God. A mortal. He be a man of God. You understand? <laughs> And but I still like those prayer points. I still and God said, okay, if you pray those prayer points with the spirit of God in you, it will answer. But you have you, you don't have to pray it with the same power that He's using. If you use the same power that He's using, or you are expecting that His power will be the one that will answer that prayers for you, it's not the power of God. Though. So God is telling me, and He's also asking me to tell you that. Ignite the spirit of God in you as an individual. Don't go about running after these pastors. I share no one. There is a share and there is a share. There is a share that is not a share from the Lord. You. And today the topic is, finally I can talk about the topic now. The topic is, a true pastor will lead you to Christ. A true pastor will point your eyes to God. A true pastor will make you independent. We have discussed that part, that topic. A church is a place you learn how to be on your own. So today again, God is sending out this, this message. Any pastor that is telling you, come and talk to me today. You know, God had to make me to see something that happened in one of the uh, towns we lived one time. And God was telling me, that man that you see there is an occult man. 
That's what God told me. It's, it's, it's my child of church, fine. But God is telling me that man is so called sick. Ah. If I say this thing now and, and I, I say it now, some people will be like, eh, um, you are judging somebody wrongly. He was the one that used those children that died. He was the one that used them for rituals. You know? God forgive me. Oh. God forgive me. I know Mark by Mileno. But that is what God told me. That's what God told me. And it won't go scot free. But that's just what God told me. Sometimes they they have let me let me explain one of his behaviors. That man. He will be telling people, and come and be telling me about your problems. Come and be telling me about your problems. Any pastor that is asking you to be telling me about your problems. Is an occult man. Any pastor that is not leading you to how to pray is an occult man that wants to be the Lord and the leader of your life so that you can be serving him. Jesus Christ never gave this type of, of doctrine that people will be looking up to the pastors. Never. All that the Lord sent these pastors to be doing is pointing your eyes back to God. When you tell them, ah, this is the issue, then... They tell you how to pray. And that is what I grew up learning. I remember when I was younger, before I started becoming matured and seeing more things, all we used to do in our house then, when you go to school, you come back to the house. After eating, you go to church. We always have evening prayers, one hour every day, six to seven. There was no chance for you to go and say, I want to see pastor or overseer. At that time, we have overseer. There was no time to, for you to say you want to see Overseer. Every Overseer is on his knees praying. That was Reverend S.A. Adeliji. Ah, that man, I really learned a lot from him. He's a real man of God. He will never ask you to come and see him personally for you to come and discuss your problem with him. All those people doing counseling that, that you have to tell them your problem. Please be careful. You are not serving God by doing that. By making a man your Lord. What God wants anytime a pastor comes to the altar, point everybody's eyes to God. Let people see Jesus. Let people know Jesus. Let people become their own personal pastors. Why do you think somebody like me, I can be talking about the things of God? Because my church, they taught me how to be a pastor of my own. They led me to Jesus Christ by, the, by himself. They are not pointing me to, to be celebrating them or to be talking about the fire. You give honor to whom honor is due, but you will make them your Lord and your Savior. So those of you that you are in abroad, you are in diaspora, and you are crying every day, saying, yeah, these pastors are duping us, these pastors are ripping us, they are making us to enslave us. You know, I pity a lot of you many times. I pity you a lot. It's not that I'm not in diaspora too. I'm in diaspora, but I'm not doing laboring job. You understand? The Lord didn't give me that chance to do it. You understand? Well, let me say I did it small, but because of the greatness that God does for me, so he just stopped it immediately. You understand? But there are some people that is what they keep doing, they keep doing, they keep doing, and then they are building churches for these pastors. They are doing. That is because they are pointing your eyes to themselves, not to God. So now God has made me to understand that even if you go and pray the prayers of this pastor, just pray it by taking the prayer points alone. Don't pray it and say you are listening to those other things they are saying, that they are trying to point your eyes to them, number one, or trying to make you feel as if it's by the time you give them money, that is when your problem will be solved. All these things are false doctrines. They are not doctrines of Jesus. Jesus said he is doing the will of his father. He sent his apostles to, to do the will of the Father. He said, I am in them just as you are in me. You understand? He said, without me, you can do nothing. So how will you now be using the name of God, adding Babalawo power to it, adding rituals, adding occultic power to it, and you are, saying, you are still serving God? You are not serving God again, no? God has to explain to me that you see those pastors that on a normal day, those people that are begging for money, that they are begging money on their behalf. You know, some pastors will say, please, 
let us help this person. Those vassals that on on a normal day people will not give those people those money. But they will choose to give it to that pastor because that pastor said, please, let's give this person money. Paul is telling me that it's not ordinary mouths they are using. They are using something in their mouths. And they are paying for it. They are paying for it. What do they mean by they are paying for it? They are going to do some ritual somewhere that is making them to be able to command people like that and they do it. And there is another authority. That is what God is telling me, oh. God is telling me, I want to use you to correct a lot of things. I want, you, I want to use you to, to, to show that God also has power. That is not only all these rituals. So God wants to, you see, there is difference between when it is God that does it and when it is the power of darkness. God wants to use me to show that you can also tell people, please help this person. And they will help. Because in my childhood church too, I'm telling you, we always have projects. And we have saints meeting. And when they say saints meeting, these are children of God, people that are already saved and are living the life of Christian. They don't used to call people that are not saved there. But in the world we have today, some people will be sinners and they will say, hey, come and donate, come and donate. Those money, what are you trying to preach to them? You are trying to preach to them that that money that they are using to, to bring to the house of God. They will go back and continue the devilish way they are doing now. They will not, maybe they are duping people. Maybe they are, they are stealing. Look at we going now. Many people say that his money is not clean. And they should say he's using it to serve God. Those are what they are doing in those churches. They will tell you bring that money. And then the next day too, you will still go and, go and dupe people. You still go and rip people of their money. Money that's supposed to spread around. A lot of people to, to bless. Then you now say you are using the money for charity. God does not want those kind of sacrifices. The Bible talked about it. God said, He said, I don't want those your sacrifices, those your festivals. I don't like it. These things. God doesn't want those type of things. You understand? So, what are we trying to say? I said in my childhood church, we used to do projects too. But there are projects coming from the Spirit of God. There are projects, I mean, when, when the man of God. <laughs> He's telling people to put money. He's telling them with the spirit of God. Except in that church that I said that that man is an occultic man. It's God that lets me know. He said he's an occultic man. I don't know. Maybe he was putting something in his mouth to make people drop money. I don't know. But in my childhood church, when the men of God are still there, the real men of God, that the power of darkness have not taken charge of the church. We will have saint meetings. And children of God will donate for the work of God. And that work will move. That time when Pastor Adeli was sitting there and uh, Reverend Adeli and Reverend Akimu Miyajia, that man too is a man of God. I remember when I, was, when I was in university, when I was in first year and I had a dream, I went to tell him. He said, oh, that dream cannot come to pass. He said, don't worry, just pray. You know, if it's another pastor of an hour, they say, ah, oh yeah, be coming every day. I will pray for you. Can you come? He just said it with the mouth of God that nothing will happen to you. And that's all. There was no need for me to go and be uh, begging pastor, which money should I bring now? Which sacrifice? All those pastors that are making you to be serving them, they are, they are babalawos. That is what babalawos are doing. Is that not what babalawos do? You go and consult if I... So, first of all, you are the one that is at fault. You see true gospel. You see the way that God wants you to do it. But you want to be doing Babalawo inside church. You want to be doing consultation of Babalawo in the church. Any pastor that is making you to be consulting him, he's not serving God. Though. Even the Babalala that we are all saying is God should come and answer us today. I don't think he used to do anything like that. If he was doing counseling with his with his ministry. I don't think we have strength to be praying. He was always praying and making people to pray. And when you pray, you become a pastor of your own. You become a reverend of your own. You become powerful of your own. You know, one of these pastors recently, in fact, I started doubting this man of God. Let me still use man of God for him. You know, one of his devoted members, his devoted 
followers died. And he was, he was like, hey, the man is disobedient because he went and started his own ministry. That that's why he died. That his family battled that. And God was telling me in my heart that what if he used him for rituals? I don't want to say it straight, but that is what God was telling me because I. Uh, so somebody has to be serving you, serving you. We don't have his own, his own uh, freedom or what. Even Jesus Christ, he was sending his apostles out every time. Once they take from him, little that they have received, he said, go and spread that little house. And then you, you, you want people to stay with you. That man is, is not young. He has been with you all these years. You should back him up with the power of God. Uh-uh. Are you God? You are not God. You are just a vessel. You are just a vessel that, that God is using. Except if your power is from the devil, how will you say that he's disobedient by going to start his own ministry? And I started pitying everybody that is under his ministry that God have mercy on, this, on these people that are under his ministry. Many of them are in bondage now. They don't know how to get us from it. They are getting scared. He's telling them if they leave that something can happen to them. You have to be careful. Children of God, you have to be careful where you put your head inside. Any person that wants to make you his uh, attraction, that wants you to be to, to be this, that wants him to himself to be the center of attraction, run. Go and serve Jesus by yourself. If you pray, I'm telling you, the power of God will come upon you. When the power of God came on the apostles on the day of Pentecost, each of them had that power of God. He said, greater things than I did, you will do. So what, what is now the essence of you now saying, it's one pastor that should have the power of God, and then you'll be saying, then you want to tap from the anointing, you are giving him money. If you give people money, if you give any power, that is what God is telling me. You understand? If you give people money, let it be because God has directed you to give it. Don't let it be because you want to tap anointing. You can't tap anointing by buying anointing. No. That is demonic anointing you are buying. That is what that bad Jesus in the time of the apostles. That is what he was doing. He, he used to buy power. Any pastor that is asking you to buy power or buy anointing, like that, um, what was her name? That woman, Adejumo, that is always saying, yeah, this grace I've received. Come and drop money so that you can also receive it. That is demonic I know all these things, once you are under that administration, something will go out of you that you can't be able to control yourself. That is why a word of God is coming out today before you, you go and listen to such sermons again. Anytime you listen to that sermon, just switch it off. If you don't have the power of God in you, because if you don't have the power of God in you, that power will overcome you inside that message. By the time it overcomes you, Everything they say, anything they ask you to put down, you will put, you will put it down. And go and look at it. When you give those money, do you get richer? No, you get poorer. What is that trying to say? Their power is not from God. The power of God doesn't give you wealth and take it from you. Stop giving your money to these pastors. I know you can't control yourself, but today I will send out the power of God to deliver you in the name of Jesus. Whenever you are giving... Give because God has made you to give. Don't give because these pastors are saying give. Imagine they have riches, they have wealth, and they are still making you to give. What does that mean? It means they they want to use you, they want to squeeze you, they want to milk you, they want to drain you dry to make themselves rich. They are using powers against you. So God is trying to tell me that, see, eh, my daughter, you see all those are prayers you are praying. You are, you are praying with the power of God, without the power of devil that these so-called pastors are using. The Lord made me to see that those, that pastor, especially that, that is, was looking as if he has power. God made me to see that my power is greater than his power. What does that mean? He's using a lesser power. He's not using any power of God. So God is telling me, all these prayers you are praying, it will be answering for people. And I'm telling you, my prayers... That I'm praying for myself. It has been getting answered more than praying their prayers. Look at it today. I was listening to another uh, person online that was talking about Mountain of Fire. I said, go and look at it. They will ask you to pray, 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 pray. Nothing will happen. Still battles. 
Because the power that is working in that church is not the power of God. I know some people will, will say, ah, why will you say that? Sorry, if it's annoying you, sorry about that. But I believe what that woman was saying. And the thing that made me to believe her is this false fruit offering. That false fruit offering that I make everybody to put money in that church is demonic. False fruit offering is demonic. It's not from God. I'm saying it the third time. False fruit offering is demonic. It's not from God. Any church that will ask you to go poor, to come and bless the church, is not from God. It's just doing, it's just doing its own in another dimension so that you will not look as if it's like Oyedepo. Oh, you know, Oyedepo, oh, the people will go and sell their things and come and give it to the church to make the church fat. Any church that is like that is not from God. The Lord says, feed the sheep, not kill the sheep, not make the sheep poor. That's not the will of God. Look at how they did Wigwe. And this is, that one is, is a very popular example that everybody can see. You see how they drain him and drain him and then kill him. Don't let anybody kill you. Don't let anybody drain you. There's a point that people will drain you and then the next thing they will use the person for sacrifice. Don't let anybody use you for sacrifice. That is not the gospel of Jesus. The gospel of Jesus is go out and go and serve me. Go out and be preaching the gospel. Any ministry that we say, if you live, you cannot prosper. It's not from God. It's using a power that is not of God. Any ministry that you only pay your attention on how to serve that man of God, it's not a ministry from God. Even Jesus Christ in his own time, there was no difference between him and his disciples. That's why uh, Judas had to go and kiss him so that they would differentiate him. They were not putting all the attention on him. They were not serving him. They were just learning from him. That's all. They were just learning from him so that they too, they would be able to go out and, and do what he's doing. And then, they had to receive the power on their own too. So, any person that is not making it to receive power to go out, is not doing the work of God. Stop all this uh, unnecessary celebration or celebrity on these pastors. It's not from God. God did not ask you to be turning them to celebrities. Then you now become their slave. Celebrity status or celebrity status is for the world. That is how the world does. It shouldn't come into the gospel at all. Somebody will say, hey, but Jesus Christ rode on the on the on the train, I'll be on the horse. Yes, Jesus rode on the horse because he's the king of kings. But that doesn't mean that that should be all about Jesus' ministry. Was that all about Jesus' ministry? No. But when the, everything, every time, what you want people to be doing is to be ailing you, to be praising you, to be, to be saying babake, to, you have already missed the assignment. You see, this message is, is long and I can't even say everything. But the Holy Spirit will explain it. Or it's just to point people's attention to it. God is telling me, if your prayer continues like this and you are praying like this, I'm telling you, people will be genuinely having deliverance through these prayers that you are praying. And you'll be setting people free from the bondage of Satan, from the bondage of sin. Not me, not my power, you understand. But God is trying to tell me that it's possible to remain in the Lord. It will not look, it will not look uh, too, what's the English, too very, very obvious like all these ministries that we are seeing today. But yeah, the power of God will be, will be healing people. The power of God will be setting people free. This salvation we are talking about is always personal, personal. So if deliverance wants to happen to it will be personal, personal. It will breathe from God. It will be what God is doing. You will feel that power that ah, this deliverance is from God. This blessing is from God. This healing is from God. This wealth is from God. You will feel comfortable. You will feel peace. You will... God is telling me, okay, I will show the world through you that the power of God is possible. The power of God is still like in the olden days. I want to use you to correct the dangers these men of God are causing in the kingdom of God. They are not working for God. People are running to them. They are doing all sorts of things. So if you come across this video or this podcast, the Lord wants to set you free. You can become a pastor of your own. And it's easy. I am telling you, 
Because that is the message God is asking me to tell the world. That you can become a pastor of your own. That thing you are praying for. That you are saying, God, do this. Go and be praying it by yourself. Don't need to go and meet one pastor. Please pray it for me. No, stop it. Any pastor that is making you to be, to be serving him is not working for God. The way God plans to bless pastors or to make pastors to, to be feeding themselves is in God's hands. It's not by after you have finished praying, then they give you the money. Fine. If, if God puts it on their mind to do that, it's good. But make sure that you preach that gospel to them. Not that, not that um, it's the money that you're after. You tell them, bring the money, and then it will become two million tomorrow. Any pastor that is telling you that is fake. It's not working for God. You know, the Lord talked about, some people will say, well, but we were saving people in your name. We were really sick in your name. And God will say, I don't know you. I know you not. Because it was, they were just using the name of God and then they were doing rubbish. They are doing rubbish in the secret. All those, uh, um, um, what do we call it? All those prophets uh, speaking in tongues that they do. That is the name of the demons that is giving them power they are, they are calling. You have to be careful. Prayer is prayer. Which one is every time? They always have a particular, a particular. Any church that you see, the pastor always have a particular um, incantation that is saying. That is incantation. That is um, speaking in tongues. He's calling the name of his God to come and answer prayers or to come and do something. And it's not even to do anything for you in that. Go and look at it. Everybody following them. How many of them have become liberated? Nobody. They're just packing people. They're just packing people. They're just packing people to make themselves rich. There's none of those services. People will be very poor. They will still want to drop money in that service. What does that mean? It means there's a power that is working in them. Run. Today, I send out the power of God to make people run in the name of Jesus. And I'm giving you the power to stand on your own. The same power that came on the apostles on that day can come on you. You can become a pastor in your house. Just stop serving pastors. Stop serving the so-called men of God. Serve God. Serve Jesus. The Lord said he won't use me to correct these things. Through my ministry, he will correct it. And through the things I'm teaching, he will correct it. So my prayers that I'm praying online, he said the power of God will be working through it. But the power of God, not the power of God, not the power of darkness. Not those powers that is working in those ministries that you are going to. It's the power of God that will walk through this ministry. It will heal your heart. It will make you to see the power of God. It will keep you in the things of God. It will keep you safe. And also about, about um, giving money, the power of God will go out. And speak to people, not the one that it will, it, not the power of Satan that will, that will come and law walk back more lower. You know, sometimes this money is as if they 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 forcefully collect it out from your hands. Sometimes a particular money you are using, you want to use to do something, and they will forcefully the money will just vanish from your hands like that, as if not that it's vanish, it's you by yourself. You go and drop it too, but that is a demonic power that has collected it from you. So you have to be filled with the Spirit of God so that these powers don't work on you. I'm telling you, anytime I see that man in my dream, he, he's always disappointed. Everything is, he wants to do about me or do to me, he can't do it because I'm filled with the power of God. So what does that mean? You have to be filled with the power of God too. Once I'm filled with the power of God, they will not be able to capture you or take money away from you. So those of you in diaspora, please, Move closer to God by yourself. Become a pastor of your own. The same power that you are looking for, let it be from God. Let's, when you have the power of God, I'm telling you, you have the best. In God help us. I don't want to talk too much. But let me see, I've even talked too much already. <laughs> it's supposed to be 30 minutes, so we are going to end it now. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the word of God that has gone out. I know this is a hard message. It's hard to chew. It's hard to swallow. But Lord, please deliver us. Oh Lord, that's demonic man. That's cocotic man. 
Olu aje ka seri etu. A ko ti pe ma da kill those children that day. Father Lord, don't let him don't let him continue to do these things. Father Lord, go and go and expose him in the name of Jesus. Father, I am praying you deliver us from the prey of all these demonic pastors in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let the power of God continually go out. Oh Lord, I'm also praying for more of this power of God. I know what somebody says, I want to do the will of God, and then you are sending the person out to be countering the power of darkness. The power of darkness will not sit on their own. They will want to be doing any sort of things. Father Lord, because it's your work I'm doing, Father, protect me. Because you are greater than the power of Satan, oh Lord, protect me. Just like they have always been seeing me and getting scared of me, even in my dream. Father, let them get scared of me, both in real life and everywhere, in the name of Jesus. Let them fall down and die before me, in the name of Jesus. That fall down and die prayer, the Lord is telling me, it's not as if it doesn't work. It works, but when it is coming from a demonic source, that is the reason why it doesn't work. A demon cannot attack them. A demon will not attack them. Those are prayer books that they are giving to you to pray from. The Lord had to reveal to me. He said it is a demonic book. Don't pray from books. Pray from the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit be the one that is praying through you. That's why those prayers don't work for me. I don't know, maybe it works for some people, but it doesn't work for me because I'm not demonic. The power of God in me will not allow it to work. So God is telling us, be a pastor of your own. Pray with the Spirit of God. Pray with the power of God. Pray from the groanings of your heart to the ears of God. And God will answer. Those prayers are not working because they are demonic. And if it, at any time it works, that is a, a higher demonic power attacking a smaller demonic power. And when a higher demonic power attacks a smaller demonic power, the demonic power will still come back again. That is an AI demonic power coming to take charge of your life. So you see the same thing. You see? You are still under bondage. So come out from among them and be separate. Come to God alone. To God alone. My ministry is to tell people to, to come to God, not to be serving me. No. The Lord knows how to bless me. He knows how to bring people to bless me. And when they give me anything, when people bless me, they will still have abundance in their, in their pockets. So it's not as if they are giving me and, and they are becoming poor. No. No, we are all going to be blessed together. That was what was happening in the days of apostles. Everybody, there was nobody that was richer than another. So if the apostles, if the pastors today are telling you, but they have, but some people used to say that it's not the true gospel they are preaching. Why is it that they, they are becoming richer than the church members? It's the devil that is that is working in them. What is being issue me? And many of them are fornicators. I said I saw it in my dream now. You understand? And I'm praying that this spirit of God will continue to fill me, will continue to reveal these things to me, and I'll not fall into this bondage, I'll not fall into this trap. Oh Lord, this word of God has gone and let it deliver people. Let it deliver me also and continue to fill me with this power of God so that I can continue to manifest this glory of God and the will of God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. I really, <laughs> I really talk so much. Even though I didn't plan to talk this much, but I believe that is the power of God. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.